Today we are going to discuss the phonocardiograms of valvular murmurs, the different types of valvular murmurs which we, so far we have discussed in detail, the murmur of aortic stenosis, mitral regurge, aortic regurge and mitral stenosis. Now basically phonocardiogram is a recording of uh, different heart sounds and heart murmurs with the help of a machine. So uh, what we see, the first uh, thing we see on uh, is the phonocardiogram of a normal heart sounds. So we see here in this phonocardiogram that we have uh, here, we have the systole. Now this portion basically shows the systole. Here we have the diastole. Here we have the systole. Here the, the right atrium and the left atrium of the heart uh, sorry, the right ventricle and the left ventricle are basically contracting in the systole. Now, this portion is basically the diastole. See, we have mentioned it as diastole. What happens is that in diastole, the left ventricle and the right ventricle, they are relaxing. Now, in the normal heart sound, we uh, we hear first heart sound. In, in the normal heart, we hear the first, the first heart sound just in the start of the systole. As soon as the right ventricles and the left ventricles contract, there is closure of the uh, tricuspid and the mitral valve and we listen the first heart sound. Then as soon as the uh, diastole start, this is the diastole, at this line the diastole starts. So as soon as the diastole starts, we listen the second heart sound and the second heart sound we know is due to the closure of the aortic valve here and the pulmonary valve here. Now. No, uh, there is a third heart sound as well due to flow of blood in diastole when the blood starts flowing here and sometimes there is a fourth heart sound but normally we do not appreciate or it is very very difficult to appreciate you can see now in the phonocardiogram you can see that uh, the the loudness of the sound the normal you can see the the first heart sound loudness the second heart sound loudness and then you can also see the third and fourth heart sound loudness and you can compare that the loudness of the first and second heart sound is more than the loudness of the third and fourth heart sound now what uh, is the use of this uh, phonocardiogram? With the, with the help of this phonocardiogram, we can uh, not only determine the loudness, uh, we can uh, not only, we just basically uh, try to show in an easy way and uh, by comparing different uh, murmurs on the same graph and we also compare their loudness. Now the first murmur which uh, we have uh, mentioned here is the aortic stenosis. What happens is in the aortic stenosis, this is basically the left atrium, this is the left ventricle and here we have the aorta and we have taken this left atrium and left ventricle and we have enlarged it here. Now here we have the left atrium, here the left ventricle and this is the aorta. Here we have the aortic valve. Now in the aortic stenosis, the AS, there is decrease in the surface area, there is decrease in the surface area of aortic valve due to which the, there is difficulty for passage of blood. And is the left ventricle basically uh, apply a lot of force to push the blood out. So there is a jet effect. A jet effect is created due to which uh, a loud murmur is created. And you can see that the loudness, the loudness of the murmur has been shown. If you compare it with the normal heart sound, the normal first and second heart sound, you will see that this sound, this aortic stenosis murmur is quite loud. The second thing is that this murmur, this, this murmur is basically heard in systole, not in diastole. When we see that the loudness basically decreases in diastole and then it starts again to increase in the diastole. So in now the, we have discussed in detail uh, about the murmur of aortic stenosis. In here we are just revising it and comparing different murmurs. But what we see on the phonocardiogram is that the, the aortic stenosis murmur is basically quite loud. It is quite loud. The loudness is very high and it is heard just in the start of the systole and as soon as the systole ends the, this uh, the, this uh, murmur basically disappears and why this murmur um, is heard it's because the aortic stenosis occur the, the area the valve through which the blood goes into the aorta that valve the area of that valve is decreased due to some pathologies like rheumatic fever uh, rheumatoid arthritis or um, uh, it may be due to calcification calcification of the aortic valve or the, due to bicuspid aortic valve or due to any trauma or there are a lot of conditions which can lead to aortic stenosis. Now, the second murmur which we have uh, uh, drawn here or in, in the phonocardiogram is the mitral regurge murmur. The mitral regurge murmur. Now, the similarity between the aortic stenosis and the mitral regurge murmur is that this murmur is also heard in the systole. It is also heard in the systole, not in the diastole. Now, what happens in the mitral regurg, what happens in the mitral regurg is that this valve, the mitral valve here, now here you see that this is the left atrium, this is the left ventricle, here we have the mitral valve here. Now, normally this valve should allow blood to move from the left atrium into the left ventricle or from the left atrium into the left ventricle. But it should not allow blood to move back from the left ventricle into the left atrium. When this valve become incompetent, it will allow the blood to move from the left ventricle into the left atrium. It will allow to move, it will allow the blood to move from the left ventricle into the left atrium, which is uh, abnormal. So 
this thing happens when the left ventricle contracts and the left ventricle basically contracts in systole. So this sound is also heard in systole. But if you compare the loudness, then the loudness of the, uh, basically the loudness of the mitral regurge murmur, the loudness of mitral regurge murmur is a little bit less as compared to the loudness of the aortic stenosis. Now, on examination, the uh, the areas in which these uh, heart murmurs are auscultated are of course different. Aortic stenosis murmur will be best heard in the aortic area. The mitral regurg murmur will be best heard in the mitral area. And the similarity is that both are heard in the systole. And the difference is, is in the area and there is also difference in the uh, loudness. Now, this basically mitral regurg is uh, not being heard in the diastole, you can see. is like just like that of the aortic stenosis murmur. Now, coming to the third murmur, which is basically the aortic regurge. Now coming again to this valve. Initially in the aortic stenosis, the surface area, the area for the uh, blood to move out of this valve had decreased. Now this was for example normal area and this was the decreased area in the aortic stenosis. But in the aortic regurge, what happens is that this valve become incompetent just like the mitral valve. In mitral regurge, the mitral valve allow the blood to move from the left ventricle into the left atrium. But in aortic regurge, the aortic valve become incompetent and it allows the blood to move from the high pressure aorta into the left ventricle. The mitral regurge, in the mitral regurge, blood move from the left ventricle into the left atrium, but in aortic regurge, blood move from the aortic aorta into the left ventricle, which normally should not happen. Now, what happens is that in the aortic regurge, in aortic regurge, we listen a murmur in the diastole. Now, here we have the diastole, and we listen this murmur in the diastole. Although the loudness of this murmur is not as high as that of aortic stenosis, but it is quite loud. It is quite loud. It is a blowing murmur, and it is basically an early, it is an early diastolic murmur. It is an early, it starts just in the start of the diastole. As soon as the diastole starts here, this murmur starts and it is present throughout the diastole. Now, initially we discussed the aortic stenosis, which is due to decreased surface area of the aortic valve. Then we discussed the mitral regurg, which is basically due to the incompetence of the mitral valve. Then we discussed the aortic regurg, aortic regurg murmur, which is basically due to the incompetence of the aortic valve, which due to which blood flows backward into the left ventricle after, after the blood has been pumped into the aorta. Now coming to the uh, mitral stenosis murmur. This is the mitral stenosis murmur. And this mitral stenosis murmur occurs because of the decreased surface area of the mitral valve. Now in aortic uh, stenosis, the surface area of the aortic valve basically decreased this much. The area of the aortic valve decreased. In mitral stenosis, the surface area of this mitral valve decreases. Mitral valve decreases. So it is very difficult for the, it is very difficult for the blood to flow into the left ventricle. So normally when the left ventricle contracts, there is no sound heard in the systole. In the systole, there is no added sound heard. But in diastole, and especially in the end of diastole, in the end of diastole, there is an added sound heard because, because initially there is very little blood flowing to this small area. Initially, very little blood is flowing through this small area, so no added sound is heard in the start of the diastole. But as, so as soon as a small amount of blood starts accumulating at the end of the diastole, then due to the reverberation, due to the reverberation of the extra blood coming and due to the slight increase in the pressure of the left atrium, there is small, a slight uh, murmur heard, a rumbling murmur heard at the end of the diastole. But if you see the, com the loudness and you've compared the loudness of this murmur of the mitral stenosis, you will see that the loudness is very low as compared to the loudness of the aortic regurge or the loudness of the uh, mitral regurge or the loudness of the aortic st uh, stenosis. So the loudness of the aortic stenosis is very high. Then the, the loudness of the mitral regurge and the aortic regurge are also a little bit higher. Uh, but the mitral stenosis murmur, the mitral, the, the murmur of the mitral stenosis is very difficult to hear, very difficult to hear initially. And in the end, you can you can listen uh, a rumbling sound, but the loudness is very low and the, 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 the timing of the murmur is in the diastole. You can see that this murmur is basically being heard in the diastole and there is nothing here. There is nothing here in the systole. So what we see that the aortic stenosis and the mitral regurge, the aortic stenosis and the mitral regurge murmur, they are systolic murmurs. They are systolic murmurs. But the aortic regurge, the aortic regurge and the mitral stenosis, the aortic regurge and the mitral stenosis are basically diastolic murmurs, they are not systolic murmurs. Now the easy way to remember is that aortic stenosis and pulmonary stenosis murmur, they are systolic. Now in this phonocardiogram, we have not uh, uh, we have not mentioned the pulmonary stenosis, pulmonary regurge and tricuspid stenosis, tricu tricuspid regurge because they are not as common as these murmurs. So we have not mentioned those uh, murmurs, but it is easy to remember that the 
aortic stenosis and pulmonary stenosis murmur are basically systolic the aortic regurg and uh, pulmon uh, pulmonary regurg murmur are diastolic similarly the tricuspid stenosis and the mitral stenosis murmur they are basically uh, they are basically diastolic the aortic stenosis and pulmonary stenosis murmur are systolic but the mitral stenosis and pul uh, tricuspid stenosis murmur are basically diastolic the aortic regurg and pulmonary regurg murmurs are basically diastolic as you see the aortic regurg is diastolic similarly the pulmonary regurg is also diastolic but the pul but the tricuspid regurg and the mitral regurg murmur are basically systolic you see the mitral regurg is systolic similarly the tricuspid regurg murmur is also uh, systolic so they are quite opposite the the mitral and the tricuspid valve uh, go uh, on the same side and uh, or similarly the pulmonary and the aortic uh, murmur uh, then go similarly now finally we uh, we have not mentioned uh, in detail the uh, patent ductus arteriosus murmur in which there is a basically connection between the aorta and pulmonary artery these this is basically aorta this is basically aorta and this is pulmonary vein normally there is no connection between them but sometimes there is a uh connection between them which is basically present before birth and it uh, basically uh, stops after birth but sometimes it is present in uh, the newborn and when this thing is present the connection between the aorta and the pulmonary vein is present it will lead to a murmur which will be present throughout the systole and throughout the diastole it will be present throughout the systole and throughout the diastole and this murmur is basically called machinery murmur and this is the murmur of the patent ductus arteriosus the ductus arteriosus basically con connects the aorta and the pulmonary vein so these are the phonocardiograms of different valvular murmurs and we have uh, discussed that normally the first heart sound is just heard in the start of the systole second heart sound is heard in the start of the diastole the aortic stenosis murmur is quite loud and is heard in the systole the mitral regurg murmur is uh, also a, a little bit loud and is also heard in the systole the the aortic regurg the aortic regurg murmur is uh, also a bit loud but it is heard in the diastole it is heard in the diastole and finally the mitral stenosis murmur is uh, way, um, loudness is very low as compared to aortic stenosis mitral uh, regurg and aortic regurg and it is basically also heard in the diastole but it is heard in the end of the diastole and the aortic regurg murmur is basically heard in the start of the early diastole it is early diastolic so it is heard in the early part of the diastole and finally the murmur of the patent ductus arteriosus is heard continuously in the systole as well as in the diastole and it is also called machinery murmur so that's all about the phonocardiograms of different valvular murmurs thanks a lot for watching the video